In houses like Erthig, the butler was at the top of the pile, overseeing the coachman and footman. He was in overall charge of the house, alongside the housekeeper, who hired the housemaids. The cook dominated a separate world, controlling kitchen maids to prepare food, dairy maids to make butter and cheese, and scullery maids for the washing up. The governess and head nurse took care of the children's universe, while the lady's maid and valet, close to their mistresses and masters, stood separate from the other servants. And at the very bottom of the pile were the laundry maids and hall boys. The hall boy usually slept in the servants' dining hall on a fold-out bed. Sadly, we don't know much about the hall boy at Erthing in the 1850s, a lad called Edward Davis. But hall boys in other houses did record their 16-hour days in gruelling detail. The hall boy at Longleat was a lad called Gordon Grimmett, and he wrote in his memoirs that every day he had to trim, clean and fill all the lamps and candles in the house, and that could be up to 300. And every morning, before the other servants even woke up, he had to polish 60 pairs of staff boots. Every servant acquired a very specific set of skills, learning from senior servants or from household manuals.